I want you to build three comprehensive narratives. So I want more meat on the bone, so to speak, of the important elements of Energy Acres Food Centers, such that I can provide to another writing GTP, GP, right? That it would make for an impactful article. So I'm saying medium writing GPT, and I'm assuming it would know what that is. And it turns out it doesn't really matter because I, I, I think it understood enough of what I'm trying to do because it nailed it. It said narrative one, revolutionizing egg with vertical farming. And then it gives me key points. And so this would be for a medium article. And there will be articles that these will go along with because I'm not just going to write about it and use AI to help do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. And Okay, so I took the key points that were generated in that other conversation that where it knows Energy Acres well, and I put it in here and just said, blow, go for it. So the community and educational hub, here's the concept, here's the key points. And so it then asks, well, I write an article. I noticed this a couple of times, it stalled. It doesn't do anything. So write an article for what I provided. Great. You went 300 words, and I said, no, 500, 500-word 500 article, five tones, informative, persuasive, great choice, do these images. And so I did want to refine because I didn't give it enough. I said, we'll co-locate these facilities and food centers, self-powered, renewable, and waste energy power. These are CEA, Controlled Environment Agriculture Facilities. So I gave it a little more so it would be able to zero in on what exactly these education centers, where would they be located? And so it first does a good job. It gives you a structure before it actually proceeds. So introduction, education, job creation, economic impact. Uh, does that look like the vision? Yes, it does. And so 500 words, grade seven level, active voice, rich vocabulary, and so it broke it down and then it immediately, I think it goes into, oh, I, I corrected it. So it writes the article and sometimes it just creates the image. Sometimes it waits. And this time it was quoting people that it made up. So it hallucinated. I don't know who Sarah is. I don't know who John is, but I wanted to give it actual names of who we're working with. So I said, rewrite the quoted personnel to be Jason Kegler with Grow High Valley and Beth Whitehouse with Ogilvy who are part of the Project Everberry and Arise-focused initiative. Great. And it, so it rewrote this. And you can see a key figure in Project Everberry, transformative power, he speaks with passion. Um, Beth Whitehouse shares inspiring stories of local educators. Uh, so I have to be edited before this goes out because that's just, again, hallucination. But at least get, it gave me the foundation, and then I can get their quotes and then drop them in there. So this is still a work in progress, but it did generate a pretty nice picture. I mean, it's a make-believe. It's the type of thing that would get someone's attention on a Medium article.